Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Synth Tutorial celebrating 60 years of the synthesizer with computer music. And in this edition we're going back to the 90s to recreate one of the classic sounds from that era from the band Air. Their track called Sexy Boy utilised a form and filtering process at the beginning of the track which is highly identifiable. We'll be doing this with our very own Zebra CM plugin. The first thing we want to do is a straight initialize, so we're going to go to the top of the plugin window. You'll see there's a display here, which also acts as a drop down menu. We're going to click on init, which stands for initialize at the bottom, and then go to the bottom right hand side of the plugin where we see the master pot, and we're going to change the value of that pot so it's at 12 o'clock. This will just reduce the output of the plugin a little bit so we don't overpower our system. It's also worth mentioning at this point that any time you make an alteration to any pot on the Zebra CM plugin, you'll see that the value is then displayed at the top of the plugin in the plugin window that we were just dealing with. So always keep an eye on that to get the exact value that we're after. Let's check that we've got the right waveform on oscillator 1. We're going to be working with a sawtooth, which is the default, but always worth checking it's the right waveform. But all the action in this sound is going to be generated by the filter. So moving over to the filter section, underneath where it says filter type, we're going to select the type of filter which is called formant. Having selected that, we need to adjust our cutoff control to a value of 100. And then next door, we need to adjust our formant control also to a value of 100. But unlike the cutoff control, 100 on the formant is all the way up. We also need to adjust the value on the vowel pot, so clicking and holding on that, drag the value up to a 20. You'll now hear quite a throaty filter sound if you play a note on the keyboard. We're going to be setting up our vowel effect using an LFO. So staying within the filter section, we need to go to the unassigned pot which is below the vowel pot, and we need to select LFO2. Once we've done that, we need to assign a modulation amount, so clicking on that pot, drag it up until we get a value of 92. Now it's time to go to the LFO section, and we're going to be dealing with LFO2, so ensure that within the LFO section you have number 2 highlighted. We're also going to run this sequence in time with our door, and we're going to select a quarter note sync, which we do from the sync drop down here. Next we need to alter the LFO to give us the effect that we need, and we do this by first visiting the LFO waveform drop down and selecting user. This means that we can define the state of play for the LFO and get it to do exactly what we would like rather than just having a straight simple repeating wave. Let's create four steps and we'll do this by going to the points menu and selecting a four from that drop down menu. We now have four stages, each of which will modulate the filter. Let's start by adjusting stage one to a value of 100, stage two to a value of minus 70, stage three to a value of 50 and stage 4 to a value of minus 50. This now means that when we play a note we should get this effect and of course it does mean that you can play around with these step settings and basically engineer any sort of sequence you'd like. So that's our sexy zebra patch for today. We'll see you next time.